Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being on Electrica. Now, uh, let's look at this guy here. This is an MPCB, okay? And uh, it stands for Motor Protection Circuit Breaker. Actually, um, many of you, you might be missing out on this one. You know, most of the motors out there are being protected by, uh, you know, circuit breakers. And this guy here, more often okay and this is an overall delay that that's the only protection that it gives to your motor and you know these drives are very precious to you know to us okay so they need really an advanced protection uh so this guy here uh, has multiple protection that it offers to your drive okay one it will protect your motor against overload uh against overload current uh, and uh, it's just the same way that uh, this one does uh, then also it also protects your motor from uh, phase imbalances okay and phase imbalances this mean that uh, uh, if your phase is supposed to give uh, same phase voltage at uh, a degree of 120 uh, and you can find out that uh, maybe one phase is give less voltage so that imbalance can cause your motor to burn out okay so this one will protect uh, your motor against that uh, it also protect your motor against single phasing uh, single phasing is just when uh, one phase misses out from the three phase and you know in most cases uh, what causes this is um, a fuse can blow at the supply transformer or uh, yeah, in, in the distribution board okay something like that uh, so it will, it will protect you all that phase failure all that is included here this can protect you uh, your devices I mean your motor against that now they ranges according to your demand so now this particular one uh, it will protect you uh, it rates between 9 and 14 amps okay 9 and 14 amps so if perhaps your motor is within the range of 9 and 14 it is suitable to be protected here so it has the same dial uh, the same way this the same way this one uh, the overload has so you have a dial here that uh, you can select the current that you need okay so uh, if for example, if your motor uh, rated at uh, maybe 9 amps or 10 amps, you have to, you know, you have to turn the dial to the selected position that you think, okay, to the position that you think it is most desirable for your motor. And uh, you have got these two buttons here, one for start and one for stop, okay. So you can stop. Uh, you drive manually you can switch off manually or you can you know st I mean you can switch off manually or start manually but normally if there is a detection problem it will trip now for example that's off that's on so if it's on like that we have a test button here where you can put this and then okay and then it will trip so on then the moment you do this And it trips like that so they have their in various current rating so that's why when you're purchasing you need to be very specific about uh, the part number here uh, now this one is uh, GV 2 me 16 uh, and it's within this range so the number goes on and on depending on on the current okay now you see uh, this overload relay it has uh, this you see it has uh, the auxiliary contact because these three contact is where your main goes right uh, and then you also have three here that where your main goes but you have the auxiliary which breaks the which breaks uh, the control circuit and this one seems to not have that but you know what it was taken care of so you have this space here that you can open you are able to mount an auxiliary uh, part which i don't have here but it's showing up on your screen 
okay so it has two types of mount it has the front mount that you can put here which is showing on your screen and it has got also the side mount that you can press here which is also showing on your screen okay so these mounts help you to to break your your control and also to be able to connect a light uh, which will always show you if the circuit has tripped okay but the auxiliary contact they don't come together with this you have to buy them uh, separately now uh, this this one tend to cost a little bit uh, more because this depends on the country where you are but it will tend to go for uh, between 70 to 90 dollars and then the auxiliary parts uh, tend to move around from 9 to 12 dollars uh, around there okay but they are essential to, uh, to have though it can still work uh, without that but you always need it to you know to make sure that uh, uh, you, you use the control okay all right uh, there is no much uh, information on the nameplate, but uh, whenever you want to buy, there is always a data sheet or, or on the website that sells this, or even online, you can find a data sheet that you are able to, to get, read through, and uh, see if all the relevant information that applies to your machine and to you uh, is available for you, such so that you can buy while well, you have understood very 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 well okay uh, I think that's it uh, thank you very much uh, for watching Electrica and please if you have any question please put it in the comment below don't forget to like and subscribe and you can also share uh, to people you think that uh, the this kind of content uh, you know help them so thank you very much until next time I'm out.